I think it's a very empowering feeling being both Arab and queer. There's a long history of queer history in the Arab world, way before the kind of queer culture we have today. And it goes back thousands of years, and I think it's a very beautiful and important history, and I embrace it as a modern queer man. I'm kind of taking the right to create and, and, and to uncreate. It's kind of like it becomes like a dismantling of your own creations. And I think within that friction is also where this, for me, becomes significant, is that it's a struggle between the making and the unmaking uh, of art. I chose not to come out. I chose to grasp my homosexuality as if it was the most normal thing. And I was lucky enough to live in a country and be surrounded by a group of friends that also understood that when I said, I am now seeing men, it was not a big deal. I was not a different person. I was the same guy. And the change happened afterwards. I feel like I developed into the man I am today. I like that idea of fluidity, that sometimes I can be a mother and sometimes I can be a man. It's a very organic thing for me and for my husband and for my children. We are two loving fathers. We play very separate roles within our families, but sometimes we also switch. And I think it's a reality that also straight people face, is that you really assume different roles on a constant basis, depending on different kind of situations. And I think this is how families also work. As a queer person, it's, it, it's not really an application. It, it's, uh, it's more like a proclamation. It, it kind of becomes the most uh, basic and significant thing, but it is, it is most definitely a form of representing an idea or a thought, and sometimes that idea can be a revolution, and sometimes it might just be a whisper, and I like both ideas. Spirituality plays a very strong role in my family, but it's also that I believe that we are communal beings and we have a mind that is really one. If you stop and you listen to your surrounding, it's sometimes the most basic and simple spaces or forums that you can use. I was expressing a big part of my work and artwork through social media, but also I found a husband through social media. It's impossible to deny the power of those kind of aspects. You don't just create something for yourself, you're creating something for, for an audience, for, for a person. It, is, it becomes an important, an important process to kind of claim the right of, of almost killing your darlings. I think the one luxury we have within our queer community is that we're really standing with a blank canvas. And I think within this field, we can create new rules and thoughts and really things that are not necessarily bound to this normative world we kind of live in. Especially after a year like this year, where kind of chaos has erupted, something new is definitely coming because it's forced to and we have this great opportunity to really make it our own to create differently this is what we do best think differently ana ismi juan yusuf ana fanan ana khalqan bi wa aish bi Los Angeles, California.